Video camcorder, you've done very well. Come with me. Good boy. Nice and tight. With all the time in the world. Boys, good two minutes, that, for you, really. Your prizes are what we're talking about. 325, you take that home in pound notes at the end of the night. 239 that the lovely Malcolm Davis, your Welsh, Welsh countryman, got for you. That goes to your charity at the end of the programme. But it's this armful of prizes you've won. Do you want to gamble those prizes against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully? You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell me. You know what I want. 101 or more in six. Non-dark player first. Well, talk about it. You've got Bully's special prize in there as well. What do you think, audience? Come on, tell them. Tell them. Come on. Come on. Come here. What? Boys, tell me now. No, we'll keep what we've got, Jim. There are your bullies, there are your tankards, there's your money. The money there is, I'm not just sure how much it is, it's 325, but it's there anyway. Whatever it is, you'll have it afterwards. Uh, I think you're very wise, because that board does get very small, doesn't it, at the end? You've seen it over the years. Thanks very much for coming to play. You've represented your much. country well, lads. You really have. Okay. In fact, it's been a Welsh night so far, yeah, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Best of luck, Ian. Thanks for paying us a visit. Oh, and you, Gary. Two fine fellas, that way. Yeah. Off you go. See you later. <laughs> Let's bring back again, John Paul Powell from Liverpool. Come on, boys, back on. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> boys. Now, you're used to a bit of pressure from Liverpool, aren't you, with Everton and, and the Reds and all that goes on in Liverpool. What are you going to do with that money? Well, we've enjoyed ourselves tonight, Jim. I think we'll take what we've got. You're taking the money? Yeah. Superb. Thanks very much, Paul. Thanks for coming on the programme, boys. You've been brave. <laughs> Go on. Let's go, boys. Now, then. There we are. You people at home, what would you do with £155? That's super. Let's bring them back. £80, that's all they've got, but they've a chance to go away with. Well, let's see what they're going to do. Pim and Sue. <laughs> you are in possession of £80, which is £40 a piece. You can take that £80 home if you like, or you can gamble it for tonight's star prize. It's hiding behind there. What do you think? I'll we'll gamble. Uh, you, you get that back if you win the prize. 101 or more. We do wish you the best of luck. We're all rooting for you. This will be a dream ending for us if we could get it. Come on, Sue, up to the hockey. Pim, come with me. We wish you all the best. Listen very carefully to Tony. Sue, just Sue. settle yourself in. Don't sit. Just all the time in the world. 101 or more to win tonight's star prize. Best of luck. Treble 18. Treble 19! You've done it! Yeah. Come with me, come with me and look at this. Finn, come with me. Come, look at this with me. Come on, you're not going to be leaving. You're not going to be leaving. You're not going to be leaving. It's the lock there. Walk round the back. Come on, Finn. Walk round the back. Get up on the top. Get up on the top, Finn. Up you go. Sue, stand with me. There you are. There is a dishwasher, a deep freezer, cooker, the pans, all the business. Put the apron on. Put the apron on. There we are. And your bullseye apron. It's back to front. We don't mind on bullseye. Television there, you'll have time to watch the telly, it'll do everything for you. We're absolutely delighted. Thanks very much for watching Bullseye. Well done, Malcolm Davis. Well done, the Welsh. We'll see you next week, because you can't beat a bit of bully. Bye! Join Sky Arts for a celebratory series. I'm very excited. As Portrait <laughs> Artist of the Year. I really love her. Turns 10. Enjoy more of the latest blockbusters than anywhere else this autumn on Sky Cinema. Movies are dreams that you never forget. What kind of movie are you going to make? Something perfect. Let's see. Something cool. Mm -hmm. I gotta watch. Ah! Something better. I want everything. What was your favorite part? Lose yourself in movie magic this autumn with Sky Cinema. There's excitement building around the stadium. The focus sharply on the present. Can be tense. 
This stadium is shaking. Get in the zone with the one and only Premier League. To add Sky Sports, go to sky.com slash sports. Is that your final answer? Right, I'll go make you a cup of tea then. Who wants to be a millionaire? Weeknights at 10 on Challenge. Bully the cartoon ball drops from an inside and enters the public house, where a darts contest is advertised. Customers drink at the bar. A pianist tickles the ivories. A barmaid proffers a pint. A young blonde woman throws a dart. Food is being served, and Bully plays darts himself. He scores a bullseye. Jim comes out to greet the audience. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed. Welcome to Bullseye. You know the game now. It's about darts and it's about general knowledge. And people in this show can win lots of money and they can win some super prizes. Let's get on with the game. Let's meet the first couple tonight who are with us to play in Bullseye. Steve and Andy Vaughan from Wollongwall in the West Midlands. Hello. How are you, Steve? All right. Where are you from again? From Willingall. Oh, that's so you're local, really, local aren't you? Yeah. Local lad. You're the dart player, Andy. That's it. And you're the brain in the outfit, Steve, are you? I think I am. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna make it all, do, all do the bit tonight. Win all the prizes and eh? be nice, yeah. wouldn't it? Lovely. Do you, are, are you into general knowledge? I mean, do you, do you read newspapers? Or, what qualifies yeah. you for this, this very esteemed show? I read a lot. You do read a lot, do you? Have you any favourite authors? Uh, Russian authors. Really? Oh, so you really are into it then? Well, I'm fascinated to see how you do tonight. Nice to have you both with us. Are you enjoying your day? Oh, yes. That's lovely. Day. Nice day. to have you with us. On the darts bench, into the rainbox, Steve. Lovely. Nice to have you with us. And the second couple tonight who are going to play in Bullseye. Come on, make a nice one. From Pinko in Wales, Pet and Tony Williams. Hello, Pet. Hello, Pet. How are you? Nice to have you with us. From Bridge End. Thank God. Where? Thank God. Very nice. <laughs> Good. <laughs> It's, uh, that, that's right. Do, are you working? No. You, you don't work? No. Is anybody in this country working at all? <laughs> what do you do, Pet? I was a nurse, but I left the hospital to have a baby. Did you really? <laughs> it's as well to go on for that, really. You don't <laughs> stop work, don't you, when you're doing all that? Well, yeah. are you, yeah. What are you doing with your spare time? Uh, gardening, it's ripping the house apart, things yeah. like that. Yeah, so it really, it's, it's occupational, it's what's yeah. what it's about, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, are you managing all right? Well, Just about we try. Is it? Uh, yeah, it's a bit hard down there in South Wales, isn't it? Yeah. Never mind. Nice to have you with us, Tony and Pet. Onto the brain box, onto the darts bench. Lovely. And the third couple tonight, who we're going to play with us in Bullseye. Come on, make a nice one. From Glasgow, Colin True and John Ramsden. Hello, John. Nice to see you. You all right? Yeah, thanks. Have you enjoyed your day? Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Nice yeah. to have you with us. Where are you from again? Glasgow. From Glasgow? Yeah. Oh, it's... Rough in Glasgow, isn't it? Oh, Hard in Glasgow. <laughs> I went up there for a laugh once and came back in stitches. Nice to be with us. Uh, are you working, Colin? Yes. Uh, that, that's lovely. And what about you, yeah, John? Working You're both too, working. Yeah. Good. Yeah. What about your darts? Do you, is it big in Scotland, darts? Quite big, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a growing. It's, yeah. What about you? Do you play, John? Yes, I play. Well, just in work. Just at work. Yeah. 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 You play darts at work? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> not in head off. No, not in head like, off. Yeah, that's all right. What, what, <laughs> do you do a lot of reading? Yes. I yeah. thought you did actually when we were talking earlier on. What yeah. sort of stuff do you read? Anything? Oh, just about anything. Yeah. Are you one of these people who can just sit down and, and really enjoy reading anything? Yeah. Or, or do you have yeah. favourite sort of stuff to read? Not really. No. Just into just reading. Anything. Yeah, great. We're not going to when you play darts. <laughs> there will be all sorts of trouble in Scotland, won't we? Nice to have you both with us, Colin. Off you go and sit down. Thanks very much indeed. Lovely. Now then, we've got to get the order of play sorted out now, and for this we use a, a dartboard with a difference. Come and have a look at this. It's a dartboard, concentric metal rings, just to ensure that there's no doubt about who's nearest to the ball and who's farthest away, because that determines who goes first, second and third. So we'll ask the dart players, in they come. It's Andy to throw first. Or from, from where were we from, Andy? Will in all. Will in all. Right, nearest to the bull goes first, and it is an advantage. Oh, and you can't get a lot near... That's worth a round of applause, that first dart of the night, isn't it? Ooh, now then. Take your time, Tony. It's... You're lying second. <laughs> Take your time all the way from Glasgow. Just relax. 
And, well, you've done well. You're lying third. So, <laughs> the order then of play is red, white and green. All right? We've established that without any doubt at all. Now then, the general knowledge part comes into the game now. And here we use a special bullseye dartboard. Board with a difference. Because instead of numbers around the outside, you can see we've got subjects. And within each subject, we're divided into special values. £20, £10 and £30 values. And that's transferred to the dartboard here. And we've got a £50 value for the bull. To earn this £30, £10 or £20, we've got to land a dart in the bed and then answer that particular question correctly. And obviously a £30 question is worth more than a £10, which is in turn worth less than a £20. If you land a dart in the £50, in, in the bull, to earn you £50, it entitles the brain part of the team to answer any question of any value which is still remaining on the board. Because once a dart's gone into a subject, that subject leaves the game. Right, having established that, let's get on with the game of bullseye. Running order sorted out, so we'll look at Steve. Steve's going to look at the board and choose a subject, Steve. Books. Books. How many on books, 20. Steve? 20. £20 question on books. So it's Andy. Your partner wants a £20 question on books. And that's exactly what he's got you, a £20 question on books. Here's your question for £20. In Dorothy Sayers' detective novels, who is Lord Peter Wimsey's manservant? Have a start. No, sorry, it was, it was in fact Bunter. Two famous butlers, weren't they? Jeeves and Bunter. Right, we move on to Pet. Look at the board, Pet. Choose a subject, please. Uh, showbiz, £10, please. £10 question on showbiz. Come on, young Tony, let's see what you can do. So we can get some rusks for that youngster. Uh, it's outside, isn't it, Tony? <laughs> oh, sorry about that, Pet. Never mind, it's early days. So, John, look at the board, choose a subject. Uh, history, £20. £20 on history. What a lovely, relaxed face you've got. You, you're enjoying this, aren't you? It's super. <laughs> when you're ready, Colin. And that's what he's got you, a £20 question on history. And here we go for £20, John. On April the 28th, 1789, a famous mutiny started. Which one was it? Uh, mutiny on the bounty. On the bounty for £20. You're off, you're away. <laughs> OK. Well done. Round two coming up and the scores, in fact, the only score on the board we've got are John and Colin. So it's Steve to look at the board. Choose a subject, Steve. Spelling, 30. Spelling. A £30 question on spelling he wants. Andy, see what you can do for him. He, he's done very well for you there. He's got your £30 question on myths. You're going to love him for this. Are you ready for this? All right, Steve. Which of his girlfriends did Zeus visit in the guise of a swan? Aphrodite. No, it, it was a fairly reasoned guess. In fact, it was Leda. Sorry about that. Never mind. We move on now. Pet, come on now. Let's see if we can get some scored. What showbiz about a showbiz? Showbiz. A £10 question on showbiz. There's tactics here. I can't just work out these tactics, Pet, but there's some there. And <laughs> it's, a, it's a £30 question on food, isn't it? Well, now, for £30, you never know. You might surprise yourself. What is aioli? A soup? No, it's not. It's a sort of garlic-flavoured mayonnaise. Never mind. We'll carry on, and we move now. Come on, John. Uh, Bible. Twenty. Bible. Are you 20. asking for help now, are you? Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Twenty pound question on the Bible, Colin. He's got you a ten pound question, which is all right, for ten pounds on the Bible. How many pieces of silver made Judas betray Jesus? Thirty. Thirty for ten pounds. Lovely. Well done. All right. Good plan. Good. All right. The end of round two. We've still only one pair scoring, and it's John and Colin with thirty pounds. Into round three, Steve. Spelling, 30. 30 pound question on spelling. Now then, Andy, 30 pounds on spelling. <laughs> and it's not, it's a 30 pound question on art. So we'll ask you the question, relax. The first president of the Royal Academy was a famous 18th century portrait painter. Who was he? Have a start. No idea. No idea. For £30, it was Sir Joshua Reynolds. 
Never mind. They're not easy, these £30 questions. As we said, they get progressively more difficult. Now then, Pet. What do you um, think? Spelling, 20. A £20 question on spelling. Now then, Tony, let's see what we can do here. And it's gone. And Sorry, it's gone. We can't even ask you another question. Sorry about that. So it's uh, Colin and John, and John to choose. Uh, places, 20. A £20 question on places. And it's not... It's a £10 question on sport. But never mind. Let's see what we can do with it. A £10 question on sport, John. How many players take part in a game of fives? Five? No. Two or four in all types. Sorry about that. Never mind. So John and Colin are safe. They're through. Steve and Andy and Pet and Tony, it's nil each. So we're going to ask the two dart players to throw one dart each at the board. And it's nearest to the bull goes through to the next round. Andy, for a place in the next round. Nearest to the ball. Have a good look at it, Tony. You've got to beat that for a place in the next round. In fact, he's done it by a mere whisker. Tony and Peck, you're through. Never mind. Come on, Andy and Steve. Sorry about that. Come on, Steve. Oh, dear, dear, dear. <laughs> well done, Steve. We're sorry, and you haven't got any money to take away, have you? Still, you haven't travelled too far. It's been lovely to have you with us. Have these tungsten darts with our compliments. They are really lovely darts. And a souvenir chalk holder. And the same for you, Andy. Some tungsten darts and a chalk holder. Lovely. Nice to have you with us. God bless you. It's been lovely having you. You've been smashing. All right. Well, more round of applause. Come on. Well done. Okay. Now we come to round two, and here we use a normal match play dartboard. What we do now is we ask the dart players to compete, to compete against each other three rounds of darts. The winner of each round entitles his partner to a question worth £25, £50 or £101, each involving general knowledge. The couple with the most money at the end of this round go through to the final in the second half of the show. So we'll get on with the game now. We'll ask Tony. Up he comes to the hockey and you throw him for as many as you can for your partner to get a question. That's 15. 20. And 1. Gives us a score there, Tony. It's not all that disgraceful. 36. Colin. 36 to beat. That's it. 60. You need to throw no more. That's an excellent start. So we're coming here now. Well done indeed. All right, John. Yeah. Now then. You can have a general knowledge question worth 25, 50 or 101. Uh, you 25. You're taking the yeah. easy question. All right. Here we go. Of which animals are there breeds called Border, Leicester, Lincoln and Romney Marsh? Shh. Dogs. College. It's not dogs. No. What is it, audience? <laughs> it's rabbits. It's, it's sheep. Sorry about that. Never mind, John. Don't worry about it. We'll move, into, we'll move into the second phase of the game. Now then, here we go again, Tony. For Pet's question. It's five. Twenty. <laughs> Get over it. We've scored there. Take your dance. Take your dance out, Tony. That's twenty-five. And nearly an accident. Don't worry about it. 25 to beat, Colin. 12. 12. And that's a 20, which gets your partner once again a question. So here we go, John. Chance again. 25 pound, 50 or 101. 25 again. 25 again. <laughs> Being very, very cautious. As a salute to which Russian astronaut our Russian space vehicles called Salyut. Jure Gagarin. Absolutely right, for £25. It was a guess, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. £25 in the lead. Here we go now. You're 25 behind, Tony. You really need to win this. That's 20. Sixty. Five. Gives us 85. 
Now then, Colin. Good, yes, good drawing. Well done. No score. 20. One. 21, sadly, never mind, but it's Pet. In with a real shout now, Pet. You're 25 pounds behind. 25, 50, or 101 pound question? Uh, 50. Listen to this for 50 pounds. Which goon was born in India, made his debut in Naples, and was an early contestant on Opportunity Knox? Michael Benteen. No, it wasn't. Who was it? Spike Milligan. Oh, dear, dear, that's very, very sad. Never mind, we've got to say bye-bye to you. Come on, pet, in you come on, Tony. Thanks very much for being with us. Give him a nice round of applause. Come on. How are you doing? Oh, dear. Nice of you, really. Smash him. Well, you haven't won any money. No. Dear me, through to the second round and no money. But never mind, we do have these souvenir darts for you. We'd like you to take these with our compliments. They are nice. Lovely tungsten darts, bullseye darts, and a lovely chalk holder. And again for you, Tony, thanks very much indeed. There are your darts you. and your chalk. It's been lovely having you with us. Thanks very much thanks indeed. Thanks for, thanks for being with us. Stay with us. We might need you in the second half. You never know. We certainly need you. See you in a couple of weeks. When Sal loves something, she goes all in. So, when she saw she could transfer outstanding balances from our other cards to a new Barclay Card Platinum credit card, she was all for it. Because with 0% interest for up to 29 months, a Barclay Card balance transfer could make it easier to pay down your debt and stay in control of your money. What you buy is your business. Helping you pay less interest is ours. Check if you're eligible at barclaycard.co.uk. Barclay Card. Make money work for you. Head to the Aussie Outback. This was the last place then where Ray and Jenny were seen alive. Where if you dig deep enough... Duck's body. ...you'll discover buried secrets. He didn't fall down that shaft and die accidentally. It was foul play. He was, in fact, murdered. And small-town cover-ups. Do you think there are people out there who know what happened? I think so. Murder in the Goldfields starts Monday at 10 on Crime and Investigation. Enjoy more of the latest blockbusters on Sky Cinema with Magic Mike's Last Dance. Wait, I know you. You were a cop, right? What's your name? Kim. <laughs> Did you arrest her? Let you off with a warning, right? Why are you in London? I'm gonna put on a show at this theater. We're gonna wake them up with passion they've never felt before. Hell yeah. Magic Mike's Last Dance. Available Friday on Sky Cinema. With Sky Store, you're in for an explosive mission. Our lives are the sum of our choices. This mission of yours is gonna cost you dearly. Buy and keep for $13.99. He knows the best way to get to me is through all of you. None of our lives can matter more than this mission. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Available now in Sky Store, the ultimate movie collection. Jim restarts the show. Welcome back to Bullseye. Now it's, it's guess who it is time again. Scottish international. He's the best player in Scotland. He's the current British match player champion and he's the British Darts Organisation Personality of the Year. This year's, in fact. Any idea? <laughs> Nearly. You're not quite right. You're just one off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Jockey Wilson. <laughs> All the way from Kirkcaldy and Fife. Kirkcaldy yeah. and Fife. Yeah. You're the great white hope for Scotland for darts, is that right? Well, I think I'm a good professional. I'll give the crowd a good laugh and whatnot, you know what I mean? So there's more to it than just darts? Yeah, you I think you've got to give them a wee bit of showmanship and that. I mean, I can't help if a kid with three bulls, that's how it goes, isn't it? Well, that's super. Lovely. It's good for the game as well, isn't it? Well, it's good for me. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, aye. But, I mean, what, it, what I was going to say, it does get people watching the game, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh, darts is a great game. Everybody, en everybody enjoys darts, I super. think. Yeah. Super, super. Yeah, we're going to enjoy you throwing tonight, because well, we're going to ask you to do something which is not all that easy. We yeah. know what it is, don't we? We're going to ask you to throw as near to 301 as you can, 
with nine darts. Well, if I score one on one, I'm doing not bad, aren't I? Well, that'll do you. That'll be all right. <laughs> that'll that'll be, be all right. Yeah. But whatever you get, the money goes to charity, and the charity's been chosen by two Scottish boys, actually. All the way from Glasgow. All the way from Glasgow. Yeah, so you, you're doing it, it's a, a sort of a, a, a national thing as well, this tonight, isn't it? Well, it's prestige, isn't it? That's so right. I'll just hope I do my now, best. Now, if you can get 301, ATV will double that amount and give £602, or whatever you get over 301, to the boys' charity. So, oh, ladies and gentlemen, a warm round of applause for Jockey Wilson and Trophy Taylor. Come on, Jockey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Five. Five. Sixty. Seventy. All right, it's all right. It's all right. Twenty. Five. Twenty. Forty-five. It's all right, won't you? <laughs> Sixty. Sixty. And sixty. Hundred and eighty! Well done, Oh, dear, dear. Oh, oh, a lot of pressure there, wasn't there, really? You better believe it. Different, it's a different ball game in this game, isn't it? Yeah, it's really. £295. Pounds. Come on, lads, meet this young fellow all the way from Kirkcaldy. This is Colin and John. Come on. Next, on. Jockey Please Wilson, me. all right? John. He's done all right for you, nearly £300, pounds, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, oh, so close yeah. to six. Never mind. Tell us about the charity. Tell us where it's going, boys. That's a home for infirm children, I think, Glasgow. Oh, home for infirm children? Yeah. In the, yeah. Is it right in the middle of Glasgow? In well, a city? Well, yeah. yeah, great. And so uh, the money will be well used, obviously. Yeah, for yeah. Super. Ladies and gentlemen, a nice warm round of applause for Jockey Wilson. Come on. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, now then, so well, that's good for the charity. It's done incredibly well, hasn't it? Yeah. That's marvellous. Yeah. So you must be pleased about that. You must yeah. also be pleased about the fact that you're through to the finals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Delighted. Behind us, this is the board that matters. It's going to turn round now and you're going to look at it. We'll explain it to you and you'll see how you can win some incredible prizes. And just relax. We want you to do well, we really do. Come and have a look at the board. Again, it's a board with a difference. Come on in, John, and have a look at it. That's fine. Wide green segments, slightly narrower red ones. In every red segment, there's a super prize. In one, champagne. Two, a pen and pencil set. Three, a portable colour television. In four, a radio alarm. Five, a microwave. Six, a Polaroid camera. Seven, a clock for every room in the house. Eight, a workbench and tools. And if you get into the bull, Bully's special prize tonight is a video cassette recorder. Woo! All right. All right. Now then. Good luck. You're giving you nine darts, and there are nine super prizes there, right? All yeah. you've got to do is keep in the reds and hit the ball if you can. Dart player's got six, non-dart player's got three. First three darts, Colin. Come and stand in here with me, John. Here we go. Very important game on, best of order. That, I'm sorry about that, that's a needle with no eye in it. <laughs> Two needles with no eyes in them. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, that's a square ball bearing. Never mind. Come and stand over here. Don't worry about it. It's far from the end of the game. Relax, John. Take your time. Keep in these reds. Oh. Nothing at all there. That's fine. That's four. That's a radio alarm. And that's another good prize. That's five, a microwave. So you're all right. You're remedying the whole situation. <laughs> all right. Take your time, Colin. You're still in with a good chance of some lovely prizes here. That's fine. That's a pen and pencil set. And a lovely pen and pencil, actually. That's one, the champagne. Ooh, coming up on the rails. And sadly, oh, dear, dear, that's a left-handed screwdriver. Never mind, don't worry about it. <laughs> now then, let's have a look at what you've won. You have won the champagne, the pen and pencil set, the radio alarm, and the microwave. Have a think about that. Now, the money that you won earlier on tonight, £55, 
That's yours in a lovely silver uh, clip there. You can take that home with our compliments. And the money that Jockey won for you, 295 for charity, we send that up to the home. That'll be done tomorrow. That's safe. We're going to ask you now if you'd like to stake the prizes that you've won already in a gamble. We'd like you to stake that against tonight's star prize. We'd like you to think about it. And tonight's star prize is behind Bully there. And it's a lovely prize. What we'd like you to do is this. We'd like you to score 101 or more with six darts. Three for Colin, three for John. 101 or more. Now, you're not playing darts in the tap room now. This is darts with a difference. Decide whether you want to gamble for tonight's star prize. Weigh the odds up, and when the music stops, let me know what you want to do. You're going to take what you've got. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to take what they've got tonight. Well done, lads. Lovely to have you with us. Smash it. Congratulations. Thank you, Joe. We'll see you later. Well, so now, what we do now, we bring back Pet and Tony, all the way from Bridge End, who may well gamble for tonight's star prize. Give them a nice warm welcome back, Pet and Tony. Come on, now, Oh, dear, dear, dear. Lovely to have you Now then, you've, what have you won? You, well, you, you won nothing. <laughs> Now, do you want to gamble that for tonight's star prize? Uh, what do you think? Think about it very carefully. I think we will, actually. <laughs> do you think you will? Yeah. Now, let me explain. One thing, I feel I ought to explain this to you. 101 or more with six darts. Three for Tony, three for Pet. You throw first, Pet. All right, we really want you to do it. You do realise the conditions of this last section, don't you? You do fully realise that. All right, in we go. For tonight's star prize, 101 or more, and it's behind Bully. Pet, take your time, we really are rooting for you. Five. Twenty. Eighteen. You're in with a real shout. Score, 43. Think about what you need. 68 will do it. Fif 58 will do it. Five. Twenty. Take your time. Sixty. You've won tonight. Star Prize. Oh, what about that? They've won a speedboat. Super. Thanks for watching Bullseye. Thanks for Jockey Wilson coming to see it. Well, was that marvelous? See you next week on Bullseye. Good night. God bless. Oh. Are we taking our last look at them? Are we really saying goodbye, old friend? With almost 20,000 elephants being killed every year for their ivory, we could be looking at a world without elephants. Adopt an elephant for just three pounds a month and help WWF bring our world back to life. Call 0800 035 5912 or search WWF Elephants. We can't say goodbye to one of our oldest friends. Being visible and relevant, it's powerful. I wanted to be part of history. Damn! People always call me monster. The story of my life. Boxing is the loneliest place in the world. You need to be resilient and not to stay on the path. Being famous is a game. Do you think you're too powerful? We might never know the truth. Force facts, force fiction. Showtime. Here we go. He didn't just want to be famous. He wanted to be historic. But redefined the American dream. On to Boston now! He's a champion Boston! A team to be reckoned with. Dear my Lady Britannia, our voyage of hate goes on. Ahoy there! It seems you're not the most liked around here. It's just very pleasing some people, is it? Still, we'll endeavour to find out. <laughs> Why does everyone...